this is Eric Osborne at Bar Maximus. Let's talk sangria. So uh, I've got this behemoth bottle right here, mainly because we're a bar and we need to do more at one time. But I just want to talk to you really quick about how to bottle age sangria. Um, one of the best things about bottle aging your sangria is that the fruits, the melody of the fruits is going to actually be more harmonious. Yeah, can you make a good sangria on the fly? Of course. But a bottle aged sangria is going to be smoother, it's going to be more mellow, and it's going to be crisp and clean. Um, one of the things I recommend is that in all sangrias you should have lemon, lime, and orange as far as citrus goes. Now we do a red sangria here, and we do it with a, we do a blackberry apple red sangria. So to do that, obviously we're adding blackberries and apples to the sangria as well. On top of that, instead of brandy, we use rum, um, and then we also add just different red wines. My recommendation whenever you're making sangria is try to find a low tannic, low acidic red wine, probably like a California Merlot, or uh, maybe even a Zinfandel if you want to have a little bit more clove and uh, allspice on the back end. Then you're going to take your bottle, you're going to fill it up with all your ingredients, including the fruit, you're going to wrap the top, and you're going to put it in your fridge for one day. After that day, you've got to empty the bottle back out, pick out all of the citrus, and then put everything back in the bottle. The reason you're doing this is because the pit in the citrus can get bitter, and you don't want it to get bitter. Then you put it back in the fridge, and you let it sit for two more days in the bottle. You pull it out, and you taste it. If, it. if it needs a little bit of adjustment, you can add simple syrup to make it a little bit sweeter, or you can add a little bit more fresh red wine to make it a little bit less sweet, depending on what you need to do. But other than that, it's a quick guide to how to make bottle-aged sangria. And if you don't want to go to all that work, come on down and have one of our bottle-aged sangrias. And at happy hour, they're $5, the rest of the time $7, and you can get a pitcher of sangria so you and your friends can enjoy it.